Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Can a baby survive in the womb without amniotic fluid? Without sufficient amniotic fluid, a baby is at risk of suffering serious health complications from intrauterine growth restriction, IUGR. This is also known as fetal growth restriction. It is diagnosed when a fetus's estimated weight is too low for its gestational age. What happens when the water breaks for a pregnant woman? During pregnancy, many women have questions about their water breaking. This event signals that the baby will be born soon. The term, water breaking, refers to the breaking of the amniotic sac, which surrounds the fetus and contains amniotic fluid. When this sac breaks, the amniotic fluid is released. What happens if water breaks at 27 weeks? When the water breaks early, it is called premature rupture of membranes, PROM. Most women will go into labor on their own within 24 hours. If the water breaks before the 37th week of pregnancy, it is called preterm premature rupture of membranes, PPROM. What happens if amniotic fluid is low at 35 weeks? Most women diagnosed with low amniotic fluid in the third trimester will have a completely normal pregnancy. If there are very low levels of amniotic fluid for your baby to float around in, there is a slight risk of intrauterine growth restriction and umbilical cord constriction during birth. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark.